Yeah, here with psychological solutions to common problems, Pet Nation's resident dog trainer, Steve Mann. Expert dog trainer Steve Mann to teach them a totally impressive stunt. Tough-talking, tough-straining expert Steve Mann! Steve Mann is a canine behavioural trainer. So, dog training expert Steve Mann <laughs> is here with some fantastic tips in just a minute. Oh! How are we doing? That was energetic! It's my jumping head on today. Good Come on. Work, they win in and let's have a look. Pow! Yeah. Wow! That was incredibly high. I'm amazed. That's good. One more now for me. Encourage her over. When she lands, then throw the ball. We'll go for nine. Jump. Yes! Good. Good girl. Good Fantastic. Girl. Brilliant. The only other thing I want you to do is make sure you reward over the jump, okay. not round the side. <laughs> Keep everything, all the good stuff down the middle. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> right, Oliver and Squib then. Right, Oliver. Please. Oops, I don't think That's that fine. was meant to happen. Let's good. lower it down a little bit. Let's concentrate on the technique. If the technique is good, <laughs> then we'll concentrate on the height. Give me a up. Oh, perfect. Big Steve's bar. advice Big seems to have done the trick. Okay, that's brilliant. One little thing I'd like you to do, Oliver. <laughs> Make sure your left hand is not in your pouch. If there's any attention on your body, I want it to be on your right hand, because that's nearest to jump. <laughs> any good stuff here, a squib's going to kind of come around a little bit angled. Pop squib back on the lead. Good. Well done. Well done. Right, Max and Boise then. Sit. Come on, then, Boise. Up. No, oh, Boise is back to his okay. old tricks again and going round the you. jump. Oh. Has he got a little bit of a sit stay? Yeah, you can do that. Do a sit Push. stay. Let's Come pop please. this pole here. Let's see if that's enough of a visual barrier. Okay. Keep your momentum up nice stay. and high. Stay. Ready? Ho! Oh. Hoppa! Yeah, well Perfect. done. Those are good. 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 I think because he's got a bit of a bias to be left handed, you can compliment that and help him out by you being on this side. Okay. He wants to go that way, but his attention and the good stuff is on this way, and his best mate. Hopefully, we'll meet in the middle and we'll get them nice and straight. Really, really good, gang. Perfect. Good. I want you just to concentrate on your technique. Don't go any higher until you're perfectly happy that your technique is spot on. Then, just going to keep adding bar after bar. If you're successful, do a couple of jumps at that height, then add a bar. However, the take-home message really is, if you knock a bar, go down at least two bars. Just build up that confidence of you and your dog, and then start building the height again. Ashley's going to look after you from here on in. See you later. Bye. 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 We provide suitable things, like we've got here for Isla to chew. Me? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sean's leg <laughs> um, or a uh, rawhide chew there. Or maybe a rope toy, soaked in water and left in a freezer, so that can help comfort. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of the most important thing is to appreciate they have to chew. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it's not naughtiness, it's not disobedience. It's how, essential. How do you discipline? Mm. Do you smack on the nose? What's I it? never discipline. There's never, ever, ever any reason for anybody to use any sort of physical um, okay. physical discipline with a puppy. You, you want to teach the pup what to do instead mm -hmm. of the unwanted behaviour, heavily reinforce the alternative behaviour, mm -hmm. um, and maybe a fair bit of control and management. Steve has complied, and Kubo is standing off him, and he's barking. And what are you telling? What are you telling? Basically, Kubo is saying to him, if you, you move, you will get better. Thank you. Thanks, Kubo. Listen, don't, what, don't be upset. Do, do you love that dog? <laughs> OK, and that dog loves you, so you're both much better off than you were three weeks ago, OK? So don't be upset about that. This is a training. It's 5% of what you're doing with that dog. You've done the most training, got 52 hours training. If you do the same thing twice and it doesn't work, you need to change it, yeah? So, different regime for training from now on. Here with psychological solutions to common problems, Pet Nation's resident dog trainer, Steve Mann. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit more scientific. I'm just looking at what the animal does physically. Down with the brothers. With down on the ground. Yeah, well, okay. before these other dogs come out, Kathy, would you like to come and be protected on my yes, side? Yes, I'm going to go down Whoa, again. How about are these dogs? Are coming? <laughs> <laughs> no, just in case. The condition of when the bell goes, excitement happens at the front door. Yeah. What I, a little exercise I want you to do is yep. 
Oh, you bit listen, bad. listen, good. <laughs> listen up. Listen now. <laughs> you need to listen, Les, not the dogs. Right. <laughs> okay, so here's our front door. At the moment, doorbell goes, he go crazy in that area. Yep. I want to condition something else. So what we want is when the doorbell goes, I want you to get up, run, load your treat to the back of the house. Oh, <laughs> you can leave him there. <laughs> load your treat to the back of the house. He's going to run, get the treats. Repeat several times a day if you can. Have your accomplice outside. So again, doorbell goes. You're going to run to the back of the house. He'll start following you then, hanging out for the food. Over time, what will happen is the doorbell goes. He'll go, hey! <laughs> he'll, he'll go to the bed, and what you can do is slowly then approach him to give him the rewards. Therefore, he's going to be a bit more relaxed. The adrenaline's going to come down. Over time, when people do arrive at the front door, he's going to run to the back of the house and people can greet him there. Yeah. It would help accelerate the process if you change your doorbell as well to a different tone, okay. start from scratch. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah? What do you think, Les? Is it going to work? Yeah, it sounds good. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> At the end of the day, your dog's going to get some free cheese. Can I come back if it don't work? You can come back, absolutely. I won't be here, but come back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks ever so much. <laughs> an old lump. But little dogs, she's... Yeah. If, if get the has been specific enough, which obviously has, then she can yeah. um, isolate it that it's to that type of dog. So the way to remedy that, what you can do out on walks is walking along. As soon as you see another dog, just treat, 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 treat into Shani. And more importantly, as soon as the other dog disappears, yes. then the buffet closes. Right. So there is right. a moment she's got a negative association with seeing another dog. Yeah. By doing it enough times, enough repetitions, she'll see another dog. Oh, happy days. You'll yeah. start seeing what's called a conditioned right. reinforcer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. This guy's the man, it's ladies and gentlemen. Isn't yeah. it? Thanks ever so much, Steve. Rock 'em well. and lock 'em. Come on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Steve Mann. I'm Steve. Well, to be honest, ninth. Oh, get a magnificent present of twenty six. Um, spoken word is your tool. You use it very quietly, fairly effectively for the first half. It was better handling from you this week. Sort out your body language. You're halfway there. Because you can't treat dog training always like a stroll in the park, the pair I want to rescue is... Jason and Jim. Joined by expert dog trainer Steve Mann. Bye! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.